Greetings, people of the internet. I am quite annoyed at the moment. More than annoyed, really. I'm, like, furious right now because, um, I had this, this, uh, it's one of the little cups that come with the portable painter. And I had it with full, well, almost full of water. And it spilled. And it, uh, got onto my sketchbook here. And as you can see, some of the pages have come out of the binding. Which would be fine if the freaking glue that I tried to add back onto it would freaking stick. But it doesn't want to stick. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Regardless, I have a point for showing you these two drawings that seem somewhat similar. I wanted to make a point real quick. With this drawing, I was just doodling. I wasn't paying attention. And I was going line by line. I was going like this. I was going line by line and just kind of doing whatever. This is bad. Because I hate how this turned out. It's just... It's not terrible. Like, I'm okay with how the shoulders and the, this part turned out. But I... It's not what I would consider anatomically correct, and it doesn't really look like the character it's supposed to be. And her eyes are too big and everything. So I tried it again. And with this one, instead of just going line by line and focusing on the details while I sketched it out, instead I went like this. I did the planning for the shapes before I went in and did the details. So, as you can see, there's some, if you look, there's a circle, like, right here for her head. And then I added the jawline and then the neck. And I sketched out the basic shape for the rest of her body. And then I went in and did the wrinkles for the clothing and the hair and everything. With this, I was going straight in for the hair. And because of that, as you can see, there's no circle or anything. It's just that shape, her jawline, just straight up. There's not even a line to to get the eyes right, which I'm kind of used to doing eyes like that now. I don't always need the, I don't always need this line to help guide where the eyes should be. It does help though, I still use it. So the point is that, yeah, this one might look fine to some people, but I don't like it, and that's because I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't, I wasn't focusing on what I should have been focusing, which was the anatomy and the shapes that I've learned how to, how to, um, how to set up. I'm going to paint both sides because I can, although if I get too much glue on my fingers from this, then I'm going to lose my ever-loving mind. Today is just not my day. Or tonight, anyway. Since it's kind of late at night now. Because I didn't start early enough. Anyway. There's just water everywhere. I keep finding it sneaking around. Whatever. On to the speed paint. Greetings again. People of the internet, this is Cardiax from the future slash past. Makes sense if you don't think about it too much. Anyway, I I'm still a little annoyed because I added some more glue to hopefully keep those pages that were trying to pop out because the pages that were poked out of the binding I actually really liked the drawings that I did on those, so if they don't stay in, in the book, then I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I tried to add some more glue, and hopefully the glue won't ooze between the pages and get them stuck together in the wrong way anyway. Uh, and I just, my day was okay. It started just fine. It was just normal. It was just what I have come to expect. And then I knocked over the thing, which is the first time I've ever knocked over a thing of water since I've been doing these videos, and I just got so mad. Like, at first I was just like, okay, well, I did that, that happened, now I need to move on, and then the pages fell out, and 
Oh my god. Like, I'm not an angry person. It takes a lot to make me angry, but for some reason, this just pushed my buttons so hard. Like, you know, that running gag in movies and TV shows? Don't press the red button! For some reason, the sketchbook losing its pages was my red button. Because I don't yell. I don't scream and yell when I'm upset. I get quiet or grumbly and... Hmm. Yeah. Of course, I am typically a quiet person, so... For people who have to deal with me, I don't... I, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not that bad, though. Sometimes I will complain if I am really upset about something, but it's kind of hard for me to feel comfortable to complain to somebody, so consider yourself lucky, because in this case, I am complaining to you. Anyway, I made a new sketchbook. I um I have a large Canson XL sketchbook, and it's way too big for me. It's also kind of old. It's that one that I used with the um, Yan Yan snack stick challenge thing. Anyway, I tore out a few of the pages in the sketchbook. I don't like using, don't like you doing that, but. I'm not likely to get through that sketchbook anytime soon if I didn't tear out some of the pages. So I tore them out and I used the book binding glue to stick them back together so they could be a mini sketchbook and a cat has appeared once more. It wants attention and it always wants attention when I do not have time to give it such. So the the sketchbook, I just finished it. It's well, a couple of hours ago, actually. I just finished it right before the sketchbook was ruined. Before it was wounded. It was wounded in battle, I promise. It was a, a valiant soldier, and we will miss him well. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little better. I started joking to myself, and then... And then I just get a little, little, little smiley, a little bit amused. Anyway, so out of today, I at least got another sketchbook. It's short. It's one I intend to use for brainstorming for the webcomic that I plan to do. So, yep, it, um, I haven't counted the pages, but I, I, I counted them, and then I added more. I think I had 36 the first time I counted, but I didn't count after I added a few more pages. And I also, last night is when I... Well, maybe not last night. I think it was the night before. Regardless, <laughs> I I was trying to um, cut the pages with my um, scrapbooking paper trimmer thingy. But there's this little cushion that's that's situated like right beneath the um the place where the blade is supposed to 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 sit on, and the little cushion is supposed to hold the paper up so that the blade can cut it. Well, somehow the cushion fell out, and I can't find it. So I tried to go to see if I could find a replacement, and nobody has a replacement cushion. So I ended up getting a whole new one, and those things are like twenty dollars. <laughs> I didn't think they were that expensive, but I kind of need one because I really like making my own sketchbooks, and it's really nice not having to use a pair of scissors. Anyway, I um, so I got a new one. It's still in the package, but I will open it soon when I make my next sketchbook, which will not be too far from now because I would like another sketchbook. That I can just draw in, I think, so it doesn't have to be specifically watercolor or um, brainstorming for the webcomic. So, yes. Also, tomorrow will be a sketchbook tour, just so you know. And if the timeline line is con correct, then I'm about to have an epiphany. What do we have here? What? 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 Are these watercolor pencils? This, this, uh, what? 
I didn't, I thought. What? 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 That I just. What? Just. Uh, I just. Are these water soluble? Does it say on this pencil? I don't know, but when 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 this fell over and messed up my my um, sketchbook that I tried to fix but failed miserably, this got wet because it was in the little um, pencil holder thing at the end of my table. So the water got onto it and it kind of melted the pigment I guess so like it, it does this if I rub it side onto the paper and like oh my gosh like uh, I didn't know the color erase pencils could do this because this is holy crap this is okay anyway this drawing is ruined I'm probably going to attempt fic uh, uh, doing it at some point, but I liked it beforehand and then it got ruined because the freaking water decided to jump all over my freaking sketchbook. So like you can, you can see there's a big gap there now. But oh my gosh, I didn't know that these pencils could do this. Can I do it this way? I can. You learn something new every day, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.